Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2006 Born Free 26RB with 64,524 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2006 Born Free 26RB. RB stands for rear bathroom. Put your bathroom there in the back. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, all of our RVs go through the same inspection process. We will do a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. Got a mix of hard surface and carpet flooring. We got vinyl up front here in the cab area. Makes it a little easier to keep this unit clean. Got your air conditioner here that's controlled via the thermostat on the wall. This also controls the propane furnace, which is ducted. Got little ducts along the floor. Got a fantastic fan here in the center of the coach. This operates off of the DC coach battery. So you can use this like an attic fan at night. If you open up the outside uh, or open up the windows, it'll bring the cool outside air in. Got little speakers here. These are run to the head unit up front. So whatever the driver and passenger are listening to is going to play through those speakers. Got two chairs here with seat belts. These do swivel, so you can move these around. The table, it comes up and out. Got to kind of rotate it there to get it in the right position. Got some cup holders. Got a window that opens with a screen on this portion. These chin-up looking bar things here are for the bunk ladder. So you can hook that on either side. Got some privacy screens there. Got a crank up TV antenna. Got your manuals. Got nice shades on this one. Got a screened portion here on this side. So you can slide this open and get some fresh air through here. These are to help to keep rainwater from coming in so you can have that open. I think it also helps to eliminate some of that sound if you have those open while you're driving down the road. So essentially what's going to happen here for the sleeping options, you can jackknife this sofa out here. So basically you're going to pull the front of this, it's going to come out where you can sleep up top. You can hook the bunk ladder on either side. I'm gonna go and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 75 and a half inches north, south, or front to back, and 47 inches east, west, or side to side. The bunk bed measures approximately 67 inches north, south, or front to back, and 83 inches east, west, or side to side. Got a nice big storage bay here below the sofa. You can access this from inside of the coach or through the exterior door here. Moving now towards the center of the coach. Got another furnace duct down here. So your coach battery disconnect that turns off the coach battery. That will also disconnect the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. Got a noxious gas detector, fire extinguisher. Got some light switches. Easily accessible entryway. Got a screen door. Got two 110 plugs and 12 volt power back here. TV here has a built-in DVD player. The speakers on the TV are the sound for that. This Bose system here, I haven't had a chance to play around with this. Um, this may or may not work, so I'll have to figure that out if that's something you're interested in at the time of sale or later on. Got your coax there, and you've got uh, two 110 plug-ins. This TV does have a 150 watt inverter run to it. What that inverter does is takes the DC coach battery power, inverts it to AC so you can watch this TV off of the coach battery power. Got a controller here for the TV antenna. Got a cabinet here. I think something maybe would have spilled here. Just got a little bit of moisture. Not really signs of that here on the outside of the cabinet. So I think that was something that got inside of that cabinet possibly. Got a 110 plug in there for the microwave. Got a convection microwave so this can actually heat up. Got your hood light and fan. Turn your water pump on and off here. Pumps the water out of the onboard water tank. 
levels test for your holding tanks, LP, and coach battery. The water tank gauges can be finicky. Got a three burner propane cooktop. You can take that cover and stash it in this little slot over here when you're using the stove. A little counter extension there. This is going to be your fresh water tank here. So it's nice that that's located inside of the coach. Got 110 power there. We've also got a dual basin sink here. This is not stainless. That 110 power. This is a backsplash that someone has added. So this is not factory. This is more of a peel and stick type of product. So we're gonna flip you around now here, to show you some of this other kitchen area. Got the nice big slide out pantry spice rack. Got a two way Dometic fridge freezer. So this has the separate fridge and freezer. It's a two way, meaning it runs on propane gas or AC, meaning your uh, shore power plug in or your generator. It's all controlled via the buttons here on the front. I'd recommend leaving that in auto and it'll do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Nice wardrobe. Got this storage area here. You can access this from outside of the coach through the outside door there. It's your water heater there in the back. Another nice big storage area here. Got a 110 power. That's an extra shelf that's still in the package there, the little cellophane wrap. So you can put that in there if you'd like an extra shelf. Got your fuse panel down here that has your 12 volt DC fuses and your 110 AC breakers. Nice, easily accessible restroom. Easy to use the potty. Not much of a step up and into the shower. Your soap dispenser there on the wall. Got a little exhaust fan overhead. Really nice, easily usable restroom. It's got good space. Got a light switch here for the bathroom light. Got a nice countertop here. We got Corian type countertops throughout in this unit. Got a towel bar there. This window has a shade. Um, but it, it is an emergency exit, so you're not going to really open this window for ventilation. Got an actual porcelain stool. Got two 110 plug-ins and the water heater on-off switches. The water heater lights itself. Nice big closet here in the bathroom. Got a few blemishes here on the bathroom closet door. Here we are standing in the rear of the coach. I've applied for a job hanging mirrors. After reflecting upon the career change, I've decided it's something I can really see myself doing. So the Born Freeze have roll bar construction. So we've got steel roll bars throughout the coach here inside of these casements. Got about 76 inches of headroom here in the very back about 72 and a half inches at this casement, and then it tapers up to 84 inches in the front. So we got quite a bit of headroom in here. Do have a little blemish on the seat here. I'm not noticing any signs of smoking in any other forms of stains, burns, things like that. Um, these seats are in almost perfect condition. Uh, so aside from that little blemish there, these are very, very nice seats, very nice upholstery. Got a privacy curtain here. You can pull all the way around the front. That's your generator start stop switch up here by the cabin. Got screen windows up top here on this side. Also on this side, got 110 power up here so you can plug your phone or your goodies in up here while you're sleeping. It's nice having these windows up here. You can turn that uh, fantastic fan on, get you some more airflow up top. You take and flip this up 
to make it easier to access the cab. So all in all, we've got a nice Born Free here. Born Frees are pretty renowned for their quality construction from the steel roll bars to the molded fiberglass exterior that's more like a boat hull to the nice cabinetry, just a lot more attention to detail. A couple small blemishes on this one, nothing that affects the fun or usability. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 to a 9, depending on how you want to rate it for those cosmetic flaws. Again, going through our full inspection process, we'll go through a demo with you at the time of sale. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power heated mirrors, tilt cruise, CD player. Got very nice clean upholstery. The driver's seat is power. Got a little glove box area there. We do have a CB on this one. Got one little blemish here on the driver's seat. Again, very minimal. Being pretty picky on that. Um, I'm not seeing any signs of smoking. The cigarette lighter's unused. There's no funny smells. So aside from those two little marks on the seats, very, very clean upholstery. Got your backup camera monitor here. Alrighty, folks. We're going to go around the outside of this 2006 Born Free 26RB. This RV measures 26 and a half feet bumper to bumper with a 15 foot manual awning. The tires have 0119 date codes. This Born Free is built on a Ford E450 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 64,524 miles. Got a pretty nice looking exterior on this one. Got a little fiberglass repair right there behind the awning. A storage bay. Got quite a bit of shine left on this one. Back of your refrigerator. Got your furnace exhaust. Be careful you don't sit things up there while that is on or that will melt them. Got two 110 plugins to plug things in beneath the awning. Got a storage bay here. That's your water heater. You can access this from the inside of the coach through these doors. Got your propane tank. It's filled through the yellow cap there. You take that cap off. The valve there can turn that on and off. We've also got a gauge on that. The Leap and Lions on this unit do have a little bit more wear than the rest of the striping. Coming out of the back of the unit, got the back of the water heater, got a ladder for rooftop access, got a tow package, storage bay, this is service access. Line here on the rear. Come around now to the driver's side of the coach. Got a sewer flush. Be careful that you don't walk away if you're flushing that sewer. If you don't have these gates open, that will fill up the toilet and come out. Got your black and gray dumps. So black on the left, that'll let your toilet go. Gray for your sink and shower to wash everything clean. Got your shore power plug in. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator stops running around a quarter tank. Put your city water in. The gravity fill for the onboard fresh water tank. This operates your outside shower. Got coax in here, a little light. Again, nice looking coach. Just trying to show you here some bearing condition on the Leap and Lions. Got a window awning here, so this is not something you're really going to sit under, but you can pull this awning out and hook it here to give you some shade. Got a nice big storage bay. Shore power cord and your awning rod. This is accessible through the doors beneath the sofa. Got your Generac 4K generator. It has a fresh service, fresh oil change. And we've got two coach batteries in here on this tray. We've got the fill for the rear airbag suspension. So you can inflate, deflate, or check the pressure on the rear airbag suspension there. So we've got a nice looking unit. Similar, got some cracking here on the leaping line on the front. But all in all, this unit's got a lot of shine left. Looks very good. It's ready to hit the highway.